is Rebecca Boyle and welcome to episode four of Talk to Us Tuesdays. Um, today I am going to talk to Hannah Ryan Murphy about her experience um, with lots of the different activities she's been involved in um, during her time at UCD. So um, Hannah, thank you so much for joining us. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Rebecca. Um, so my name is Hannah Ryan Murphy. I'm in stage three of my degree, um, which is Law with Irish. Very good. Thank you so much. Um, so I suppose, Hannah, let's get right to it. Um, if you could, could you tell everyone what activities you've been involved in um, while you've been a student at UCB? Yeah, so I've been involved in quite a lot of activities um, since my first year, since the very first week of UCD. Um, I'm currently on the committee of the of the Law Society and of the Music Society, and I was involved in both of those societies um, in first year, and I was also a committee member on those societies last year. Um, and then I've also participated in the Student Legal Service, in Jam Sock, in Uncommon Coilock, um, Snow Swords Club, Musical Sock, Harry Potter Sock, and I also I write regularly for the University Observer as well. So quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing, Hannah. Um, do you have time for your degree or are you just fishing that in just around so. everything else? <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, well, I'd love to hear a little bit about... Um, well, I suppose like obviously you were studying um, you're studying law and Irish. So there seems to be it's kind of obvious maybe that you would be involved in some of those activities that you um, that you mentioned. So, yeah, do you want to tell us maybe um, kind of what led you to I suppose decide to get involved in the actual activities and um, you know how you went about that? Um, I suppose when I was in first year, I saw college as a brand new start for me um, and I kind of just wanted to throw myself into it. I also didn't know very many people coming to UCD. I knew I live about an hour away, so no one from my school went to UCD. Um, I knew two people and neither of them were in my degree. So I kind of needed to put myself out there to meet people and to make friends because, you know, yourself, there's three to three thousand people in UCD. Like it's it's can feel overwhelming sometimes. So. I remember the first day and um, walking down the concourse and it was just hundreds of people around me and I felt so overwhelmed and I really just wanted to kind of make that seem a lot smaller by actually getting to know the people that were walking past me and a great way to do that was societies and um, also just a lot of the activity sounded really cool and um, just weren't things I would have ever been like had the chance to do before when I was in secondary school and um, so I wanted to just throw myself into it and um yeah, it really, it really worked out well. But yeah, that's what kind of led me to it. I wanted to make friends, I wanted to meet people and I also wanted to do the activities themselves. And like a lot of them were, as I said, things I'd never done before. So I kind of wanted to gain those new skills as well. So yeah, that's what led me to it. Brilliant. And you said that you, in first year, you started out kind of uh, just getting involved in the society and then you moved to take on, um, you know, roles in the committee. Can you tell me a little bit about maybe how you did that kind of what what what's involved in trying to take a more active role in a um society and and i suppose you know did you think you'd be able to do it had you gotten advice from the other members of the committee um you know what kind of let gave you the confidence to go on and, and move from just being involved in an activity to having an active role in the committee so um, with the two committees I'm on, it was actually quite a different story for both of them. So with Law Sock, I was very involved in first year. Um, I met a lot of friends through there and obviously a lot of people from my degree. Um, so I kind of knew a lot of people and then I felt more confident because I was going to the events and I got to meet some of the committee members more regularly. Um, so I ran for a freshers rep for Law Sock in first year and there was just so many of us that ran for it and I was unsuccessful and I was really sad about it. Um, but I kept going to all their events and hoping that um, I'd get a chance to be on their committee. And then when applications rolled around, any it was really good because any fresher that had been involved in activities with Law Sock throughout the year, the auditor traditionally meets with every single one of them, and um, even if there's like 60 of them, to kind of talk to them about what their plans are for next year and if they'd like to be on committee and what kind of roles would be available and stuff like that. So you kind of get a little bit of an advantage then from... Um, from being involved in first year. Now, that's not to say that you have to be involved in first year. There's people on the committee who just weren't involved in first year at all that the auditor never met with and they still got on committee. But it does, like, it does help a lot. So I remember I was one of those freshers and the auditor for last year sat me down and told me about his plans and, you know, asked if I was interested in applying for the committee. And I did, and I got to ask him questions then, him and the secretary, which was really helpful. So then um, you apply 
apply. There's usually a written application and then you get an interview as well. And okay. it's like a job interview. It's the same kind of questions, you know, what skills do you have for this role? What experience and stuff like that. Um, but you don't necessarily need to have like any kind of direct experience in like event management for example or anything like that you know it's kind of more about your passion and how hard working you are and that you can show with examples from anything that you've done that you'd be the perfect person for that role and it's less stressful because at least it's a student interviewing you and not like a kind of you know employer in a big suit and and you and hopefully like if you're involved in the society you'll know them a bit as well which I was still really nervous but it was a lot easier than um, a job interview and then they'll let you know. But with the Music Society, it was actually very different because I wasn't really involved with them in first year. I wanted to be, but I think some of their events clashed with other things I was doing. And um, I was really, and none of my friends were really into music. And I would be like, do you want to go to this music sock event? And they'd be like, no. And I'd be too scared to go on my own. Um, so I actually wasn't involved with them that much in first year. But I happened to know the auditor because I'd done a play with her in drum stock. So um, this is what I mean about, like, you get to know so yeah, many people. Connections, yeah, connections, yeah. Yeah, and um, I just, but I'd always wanted to be involved in music society. I was like, I, I love music and I always wanted, so when I wanted to be a part of it. So when the applications, when I saw them in the email, the applications were open, I was like, I'm going to apply and just see what happens. And um, it was the same thing. I uh, filled out an application and had an interview um, and I didn't know the auditor and, but I'd never, I'd never met the secretary and, you know, they hadn't seen me at a lot of events. So it was very different to the last talk one. Um, but I kind of just demonstrated that, like, I was really passionate about it and that I think I would be a really good person for that role. And I was really, and I was successful in that, um, application as well but it was totally different because when I went on to law sock um onto the committee which was brilliant but um I kind of knew everybody like mm -hmm. you know there's very few people I didn't know and um, but with music sock everyone else knew each other and I was the only one who didn't know anyone so it was really good to kind of have those two experiences because by the end of the year I was kind of equally close with both societies and yeah. um with both committees but very different journeys to how I got there um yeah but that's kind of how you transition from being a member to a committee member just if you enjoy their events or you're you know passionate about what the society stands for regardless of like how little experience you have or how, how much you've attended their events so you know if you are passionate about it and you're willing to commit your time into it they'll see that in the interview and then you can kind of take a more active role because it's a lot it's a lot more fun to be on the committee than just being a regular member mm -hmm. brilliant that sounds uh, tougher than i thought uh, getting onto a committee <laughs> of a society and i suppose that's um what what leads me on to my next question really is about um, what skills you feel you've developed through your activities, and also I suppose just generally how you feel the activities have um, have helped you maybe in terms of employability and skills and development and even your your confidence. Yeah, so I feel like they've had such a massive impact on me, both being a member of different societies and very specifically being on committee as well. Um, so I think. Confidence is a big thing it helps with because, as I said, I just threw myself into everything in first year, signed up for everything, you know, um, and then once, you know, because you have to sign up through forms, it was like once I signed up, there was no going back. So I kind of had to follow through on stuff. I'd signed up on, on a whim because I felt like I couldn't let people down, but I'm so glad I did because I'm all the better for it, you know. Um, like the first two months of college, I was in... Um, I was in a play. I was in a little st a smaller version of a musical um, I had done a negotiate a legal negotiating competition. Um, wow. I tried my hand at legal muting, which is like my courtroom. Um, I'd done debating, um, and that was all <laughs> within the first um, two months of college. So it um, was definitely stressful, but um, I gained so many skills from it because I learned new things. Like I said, like legal negotiating, legal muting, like I'd never have done anything like that before. Um, even acting, like I was in like one or two plays in school, but it wasn't that big. But um, I actually, Dramasoc do um, this thing called Freshers Projects where you sign up and you perform like a, a play um, that's written by one of the Dramasoc members or committee members from previous yeah. years. And you're encouraged to improvise and you, you only get a week to prepare it or even less sometimes. So it's really intense and it's really funny. So everyone has their script. It's always a comedy and everyone has their scripts in front of them on the stage. And then someone from drama sock will play random noises and sounds that you have to react to while you're on stage in character and you won't <laughs> know what's happening. And that was a crazy experience. But like, I, I was so nervous. And I remember like, having like improvising and, you know, doing all the stuff I would never have done before, you know, and reacting yeah. to 
stands and even a random drum sock member came onto the stage at one point and we had to react to him in character and we never knew any of this was happening and you know stuff like that like where you're just thrown into the deep end but they're done in a way that it's meant for freshers it's meant to be fun because you're new at this but even though it's scary like it's really fun and um, so doing stuff like that really helped my confidence I also did another play with drum sock um in November of first year I did on trio so that was an Irish and that was a collaboration between John Sockin and Come on Guaylock so it was another challenge like doing like that was serious action but that was also like in Irish so um, and that was a much bigger audience because the Freshers projects like you know was very very small but um, on trio was when schools came to visit and stuff so that was um, another thing I learned um, and then as well like I was involved in snow sports club I learned how to ski I had never skied before in my life I only went a couple of times but I had absolutely no skiing experience and they take you out to um there's like a ski training center in the mountains and they have fake snow and they teach you how to ski and um <laughs> so I have the very basic ski skills now that I never had before um but the biggest thing has definitely been like just meeting people and making friends and it's just had such a massive impact on me like you know I, I knew as I said I knew two people starting UCD I felt I'll never forget um because obviously freshers week like or orientation week is just kind of first years on campus um and then I remember the first day of college when all the years were back and there was just so many more people there than I was used to in orientation week and I remember being like like oh my god there's so many people and it was just so overwhelming and now I walk down that exact same concourse and I literally can't walk down without someone stopping me to say hi because I know so many people now um which I never thought I would have known you know in first year coming with only people um but it's amazing because the people that get involved in societies no matter what society you're in everyone kind of knows each other along the society's Mm -hmm. corridor um and then you meet so many people that like, you know, you know, that are actually in your course that you meet at random society events. And um, even I've kept in touch with random people I've met in Freshers Week. I still meet my friend that I met at a history sock night out in first year. Like, you know, um, it's just crazy the amount of people you meet, the friends you make. Um, it's really helped. Like, so as well as the specific skills I've gotten, like with acting and developing legal writing as well, the student legal service and writing for the observer and debating and all that stuff, all the kind of, very specific skills also like softer skills like you know socializing and confidence and meeting people and making mm. friends and it's just had such just a positive kind of your networking your networking yeah. skills and yeah and I suppose it's fair to say that um I mean there's obviously a clear link between your involvement with the legal society and your core so you can almost kind of instantly see a benefit but I think what's really nice is you got involved in the you know the drama sock and you have developed skills that you will hopefully use in your career um you know in in a courtroom or whatever it is and that you have developed on stage as well and and kind of being as you said thrown into the, the deep end so i suppose i think like there's probably a key message there to say to students that yes you know getting involved in something that is kind of an obvious link to your course is definitely going to benefit you but also get involved in things that you just enjoy because they will also benefit you and your your skill development and as you said your your confidence um, in terms of public speaking and and um you know being on stage and and being in the courtroom um they're definitely all, all going to help you um with your career i suppose um kind of what what would be your advice to other students i think like you know obviously we're in a, a different time now as well and we want to have um, students incoming students who are going to feel the same way that you feel they probably are not facing thirty thousand students walking through ucd campus but it you know you still get those i suppose beginner nerves starting university and starting a new um um kind of journey i suppose so what, what advice would you have for for maybe those incoming students or students who are in their second and third or fourth year and they haven't really engaged with additional things outside of their their degree so i suppose my main advice would be to just throw yourself into it you know challenge yourself sign up for things that interest you even if you have absolutely no experience with it whatsoever even if it terrifies you sign up for it you know like these events are made for beginners you know the ones at freshers week you know they'll say on them whether they're suitable for beginners like even if it absolutely scares you to death sign up for it you know do it like challenge yourself if you're interested in it do it and then once you're there make that effort you know go up to people ask them their name ask them what they're studying 
obviously it's different because it's online now but i mean you know same thing like attend the zoom um the zoom events you know turn on your camera participate in the discussion you know and then try and stay in touch with people afterwards as well like you know add them on facebook or follow them on instagram or like you know ask can you keep in touch with them afterwards and then you know try and keep that up it's obviously a lot harder because things are online now but you know i would like follow up with people like if you know like i met some of my best friends through like being involved with law Sock and different societies you know you just follow up with them afterwards and you're like oh i'm around you know do you want to meet for a cup of tea or something like that and it's obviously much more difficult over zoom but it's the same sort of thing you can like text them and be like oh you know would you like to like have a facetime or something like that or hmm. like oh, how are you finding this lecture if they're if you're in the same course uh, but just like make that effort because it is worth it and you know you get out what you put in and i threw myself into extracurriculars and i once i was there I know I talk to everyone and I try to keep in touch with people and, you know, and it's really worked out and it's only because I put that time and I put that kind of effort into it. So my advice would just be to throw yourself into every opportunity you see, every, you know, read the society emails, follow the social media societies you're interested in. Um, and just, you see, if you like join the freshers groups as well, and um, specifically for first year students, there's a lot of those, so a lot of societies have those or like Instagram pages that are specifically for freshers. Any application form you see, just fill it out, like sign up, do it. Like it's, you, you know, I, you'll learn something from every experience. Even if you don't love it, you'll definitely have met some new people. You know, you'll definitely have gotten something out of it. And on the opposite side, like you'll probably end up loving it and making friends for life there. So yeah, that's my advice. Just throw yourself into it. That's great, Hannah. I think that's like some really important points here that actually this is the time to try new things and you don't have to like everything and you can, you know, maybe drop certain things and you'll keep on other, um, maybe some activities and not all of them. Um, but I think that is really, really good advice. And I will also mention that Hannah is in the process of completing her UCD Advantage application. Um, so she's using her activities um, like her involvement with societies to complete her UCD Advantage application. So if there's anyone listening who has is also involved in lots of great activities, make sure that you sign up for that award as well. Um, Hannah, I think that is pretty much it. Um, I hope students take on board what you're saying. We know that things are different than um, they have been in previous years but as you said even you know now more than ever you need to put yourself out there a little bit more and as you said get involved in the um the zooms or the virtual events um and you know engage with people on social social media and as you said kind of throw yourself into whatever you can and um, to make the most of your university experience and of course develop your develop your skills while you're here um, Hannah thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us um, thank yeah, you so much. The best of luck with the rest of your um, your studies. Thank you so much, Rebecca.